What's up friends, it's Mike again. Glad to have you guys back and it's very exciting today because we have something that's really nice and premium. This is the Sennheiser Momentum 3 Wireless. It's definitely very good looking because it has real leather on the top of the headband and the ear cups as well. The sides are made of steel and it's very industrial looking, gives it a very retro timeless look. It's gorgeous. It's like eye candy for the modern man or woman. But anyways, this whole thing costs like $400. It's not cheap. So the question here is, does the look match its performance? And how does it compare when you put it against the Bose 700 and Sony 1000XM3? So in today's video, we're gonna go over the sound quality, the call quality, the active noise canceling with my binaural recording so that we can experience it together. And we're gonna go over the features that I really like and really hate that uh, you should know about before buying so that we can figure out if these headphones are in fact right pair for you. So before we start, full disclosure, Sennheiser did send these in free of charge for me to review, but as always, if there's something that sucks, you'll definitely know about it. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, starting with the sound quality, right out of the box, the Sennheiser Momentum 3s are actually a very, very bass heavy. The bass was very like boomy and very bloated kind of feeling that masks over the mids and the highs, so that wasn't really a good experience. So you do have to go in the app, and normally with my Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless, I like the V shape and it's just a bit above the middle, but with these, I had to turn them to the right, uh, closer to the treble to really tone that bass down and um, get more clarity out of this. And yes, the good news is that the equalizer is saved in the headphones after you set it. So whether you're using them wirelessly or plugged into the cable, it will still retain its sound across all your devices. So after I did that, I did find the bass a lot better, meaning it's more controlled, there's a lot of bass depth, and it's not muddy anymore. You can hear the details really clearly, and the soundstage is really wide as well, so when you're watching movies with these, you feel really immersed, especially if you're watching space movies where you hear the rockets go So it's quite awesome there. But for music, even though I tuned the EQ more to the treble side, I still don't get that kind of clarity that I would with my Bose. So in that aspect, it's not the clearest that I've heard. I really think that these headphones were tuned at, or made for more general consumers rather than audiophiles who need the most clarity and most balanced sound. Again, this is more bass heavy. But overall, I do think you're not gonna be disappointed with the sound quality of these, especially with that high price tag. It does give you premium sound, especially if you're really into R&B and hip hop and like those bass heavy music genres. But if you're into classical music, you're gonna have to use that equalizer for sure to really get those details and clarity and you know Just get that sparkle out of your songs. So while the sound is great um, It also boasts that it's really good with calls as well. So here's a quick call quality test for you Okay, so now we're using the mics on the Sennheiser Momentum 3s testing one two three It is a quiet environment, so it should be uh, fairly decent so what if we turn on some background music? So now I got a speaker in the back trying to emulate a coffee shop sound environment. How is it? Can you hear my voice clearly? Is it separating my voice from the background sounds? So testing, one, two, three. This is a Sennheiser Momentum 3 wireless. So now we have the Sony WH-1000XM3 testing, one, two, three. This is the Sony's. So now we're using the Bose 700s testing, one, two, three. This is the Bose. Testing, one, two, three. This is a Sennheiser Momentum 3 wireless. And also, there's a mute button. If you press and hold the down volume button. And uh, yeah, it's recording again. So that's quite useful if you do a lot of conference calls. Okay, so this is what it sounds like normally with my camera mic, so you can see what it actually sounds like in person. And now I'm gonna use my binaural recording earphones to show you the active noise canceling. Okay, so I hope you got a good sense of the active noise canceling and the hear through that I put on. Comment below and let me know which sounds the best to you. 
Okay, so for the next part, we're gonna go over some really useful features and some really not useful features that you really should know about before buying. First would be that with this headphone, you can turn it on and off just by closing it like this. It will automatically turn off and that's really cool. But sometimes, uh, you know, if you have a headphone hanger, that doesn't really work because it stays on. But the thing is that you can actually turn these off as well if you hold the middle multi-function button and uh, it goes uh, to sleep. Just like that. So that's really nice. You can hang your headphone now. It's not gonna drain your battery. And the other thing about the battery is that it has 17 hours, but the actual use with the ANC is around like 13 or 14. That's on the lower end of the spectrum and that might be a huge negative for some people, but you can actually charge and play your music wirelessly at the same time. So it's not really a problem there. And for myself, um, my flights are never longer than 12 hours. So this is more than enough without me charging it or anything. And the other thing that I really like about these headphones is the comfort. It has cushions on the top of the headband and it has the thickest ear pads that I've ever tried. And it also rotates here on the side of the ear cup. So no matter what, how you position your headphone, it conforms to your head very well. There's no single point of stress. And after hours of wearing it, I wasn't uncomfortable. It was very nice. And the most important aspect here is that it ventilates very well, meaning that it doesn't get warm or like very humid inside my ear. And that's really important because unlike the Sony's, um, I mean, these get quite warm and wet. I always have to take them off uh, when that happens and um, I that, that forces me to rest. It kind of disrupts my flow of work. So if that doesn't bother you, then uh, it's okay, you can go rest. But for people who wear their headphones the whole day like me, I think you're gonna love this. It's gonna be really comfortable and it's just as good as the QC35 twos. And the last and most important thing about these is the connection quality. It uses Bluetooth 5.0 and I got to say the connection has been solid for me every single time and it also can connect up to two devices at the same time so you don't got to switch between your phone or your laptop and if I'm using my laptop and I get a call it automatically switches to my phone and uh, bada bing bada boom it works and also when I'm watching movies playing games or even video editing this has been very good so far but if you're really serious in your gaming they do have the uh, provided cable with you it's a 2.5 to a 3.5 millimeter cable and the cool thing is that it actually locks when you plug it in and turn it, it's locked and it's secure. So that's a nice touch. And onto the things that I don't like, and I think it's more like gimmicks, is the uh, tile function. Like it's, it's something that's nice that they put in, because with the tile, you can find it if you ever lose your headphones. I think the only chance that I'd like not be able to find it is if someone steals them. But uh, otherwise, um, I, I never use the tile function. It's not a reason to buy these. And the other feature that I don't really use is the auto pause because uh, when your music is playing and you lift your headphones, it pauses your music. But in my experience, I actually found this to be a bit uh, tricky because sometimes when you turn your head and it leaks a bit, it pauses your music and um, that's, Annoying. So for me, I actually turn it off inside the app and uh, that's really nice that they can do that. And the last thing that you should know is that, again, this does use leather, so you do have to maintain it well. It may uh, get scratches, but that's okay. Leather is supposed to age with you, but I would not go in the rain with these. Uh, water is always damaging to it, so working out in these won't be the best, but if you do, the ear cups are replaceable, and I think they're like 50 or 60 bucks, so that's something to consider if you're a low-maintenance kind of person. Okay, so after all of that, I gotta say that the sound quality is better than the Sony, in my opinion, because the sound is a bit more refined, controlled, and bad balanced versus the Sony's, which is also good for its price, like really good, because the active noise cancelling is definitely the best. It's better than the 700, but they're very close. But the thing here is that at this price point, it's the same price as the 700s, which are my primary headphones right now because of its really balanced and clear sound that I need for video editing. But right now, I think it's a bit hard for me to recommend the Sennheiser Momentum 3s over the Bose 700s because although it has great sound, it doesn't necessarily have the best call quality and active noise canceling. So if you're looking for those two things specifically, I'd go with the Bose 700. And if you want more value, meaning more bang for your buck, I'd go with the Sony's. But if you are someone who really values that timeless, industrial, minimalist look, and you want something that will last you a long time, that has like great sound quality, decent active noise canceling and calls, super comfortable fit, and like the ability to fold your headband like this to go travel with and 
Actually, this is a very important thing because although the Bose 700 is my favorite and most used right now, um, I actually never bring this when I travel because I don't want to bring the case. It brings too much bulk in my backpack. This is a lot easier for me to bring out when I'm commuting or traveling like 100% of the time. So for those situations, I'm definitely gonna use this. So anyways, if those things matter to you and you like it and it's in your budget, then I think the Momentum 3s will satisfy your desires and uh, you won't be disappointed with this. These are a great pair of headphones. In fact, it's very hard for me to find faults for these. These are a really solid pair, except for the price. And uh, it is a luxury item. You are paying a premium for the overall build quality and it's a uh, premiumness, so. Yeah, luxury items are expensive, but um, this is gonna last you quite a long time. Anyways, I really hope I helped you guys out here. If you have any questions at all, please comment below. I'd love to help you guys out. And again, I'll be going to CES the very next week. So it's gonna be really fun there. And I'm going to a Sennheiser event as well. So I'll be updating you guys with all the new tech. And that's why you should like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And turn that notification bell on to get the latest updates about my channel from YouTube. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the very next review. Bye.